Welcome back everyone to another Persona 5 Strikers. Fun, fun times are going all around right now. Let's move on. Oh, this is where we're going? Did I hit the wrong area? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Stupid me. Let's go. We can't let her keep making fools of the phantom thieves. Time for some payback. Oh wow. You guys actually came back? You could have just stayed down there. Honey, no matter how many times you come back here, it'll be pointless. <laughs> We're about to disprove your little theory. You're going down! We're gonna slap some sense into you and get Sophie back up and running. We're gonna slap you in the face, basically. Why are you fighting this? Uh, not that here, right. You could witness the birth of a god and be among the first people to enter the promised land. No one is ever going to suffer again, or even want for anything. You realize you're fighting against Utopia, right? Having a soul path foisted upon you with no regard for a person's wishes? In what world is that a Utopia? Yeah. Like I said, it seems very familiar. I don't know yet. Take this very jail, for instance. Yep. These people, locked up in cells, had what makes them human stolen from them. Yet you dare to call this place the promised land for all humanity? <laughs> of course. Your first fallacy was considering this place a prison. It was a prison. Why did you try to revive it? Emma protects people. She shields them from worry, from pain, from any suffering. It's the utopia people have dreamed of since the beginning of time. Emma knows how to bring us all to the promised land. Well, Yadavoth failed to do that, and so will you. Big surprise that your so-called promised land looks just like mementos. Right. That's how we know you're full of it. We can tell this whole place is wrong. Our progress is guided by our hearts and paid through our efforts. We never just hand our lives over. Boy, you sure are one tough gang. I bet you all took life by the horns and just made everything go your own way, huh? <laughs> but that applies to very few people in the real world. What of all those who have lost their way? The outcasts in your schools, the people mocked and slandered on the internet, if any one of them steps out of line, their fate is sealed. The burden forced on them will haunt them the rest of their lives. Sure. You're fine with all those people going through that? <laughs> all because no, like... you're strong? Because you never screwed up? Bruh. Like, she's like got no... My mind is like, right now. She's all talking about people being slandered on the internet, and I'm just like, bitch, and the internet's not really a... Yeah. You're so wrong, Ichinose. Yeah, I know, right? Just because your life, you never screwed up, and you just... And the other people have? I'm, not I'm like, what? Not now, not ever. I still mess up and make plenty of mistakes. I'm sure I'll even screw up in the future, too. I've seen it all with my own eyes. Every one of these guys has crawled back up from rock bottom. Pretty much. They suffered, they struggled, and they fought back. They weren't born strong, they grew strong. Basically. Isn't that sort of growth what makes people human in the first place? <laughs> if you think people are getting attacked on the internet, it's something to cry about, bro. I'm attacked every day, and, I don't, and I'm not flinching at this shit because I know all those people are wrong. Yeah, shut the frick up, bitch. If you don't have any emotions, 
Why do you look so pissed off right now? Your jealousy over these kids is plastered across your face. Don't ignore your true feelings. Shut up. All of you, shut up. When an infallible AI puts you on the right path, you follow. No, we are not going to. Humans don't need hearts. There's a whole lot of them. Give it everything you've got, guys. <laughs> no matter how many things they throw at us, we'll crush them all. You're all getting blasted again. All right, we're starting with three kids now. Watch my back, guys. Yes. How much you try to silence us, we will always fight back. No matter what. Go ahead, ban us. Suspend us. We don't care. I'm gonna switch to her now. Johanna, go! Do it! Fist up justice. Sorry, we beat your minions. Suddenly, Sophie. Sophie, you're awake. Wait, her eyes are. Are you still fighting it, Sophie? This is quite unusual. I thought you were programmed to obey my commands, yet here you are resisting them. Just what's going on in your mind, Sophia? One, Ichinose, turn me back to how I was. No can do. After all, 
That's not what Emma wants. She told me to stop the Phantom Thieves. And it's your job to help me with that, Sophia. Obey my commands, Sophia. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. You can beat this. <laughs> Nothing more than a doll. There's no divine me. I'm a doll? That's right. That's always been the truth. Bullcrap! Sophie's not some doll! She's our friend. The doll that Emma's toying around with here? That's you, Ichino Sei! <laughs> Heartless doll, exactly. Huh? You guys could probably never understand. I brought Sophia to life so I could learn about the human heart. Remember what I told you? All my life, I've never felt what other people call the heart. She just lost both her parents, and even then, she doesn't cry, and her expression doesn't even change. Jeez. She reminds me of some lifeless doll. It doesn't even matter what you say to her. She doesn't answer. She just sits there on her computer all day. It's like... It's like she's just totally heartless. Hey, don't you think she's sort of creepy? She never reacts to anything, even if you're being nice. <laughs> Maybe she's not a human. Come on, she'll hear you. Oh, I didn't see her there. It's no big deal, though. She's a lifeless doll, you know? Um, Ichinose-san? We're heading out for the night pretty soon. If you'd like to join us. Just ignore her. She basically does the same to us. They call her an AI wunderkind, but I've never seen her bat an eye at a single compliment. Or anything else for that matter. I even heard her nickname was Doll when she was growing up. She left her humanity behind somewhere along the path to success. I just couldn't understand this foreign concept of heart. But it was my top priority in my studies. So I tackled the problem the only way that I knew how. What would you like me to become? Humanity's companion. Sophia, if I could give my baby a heart, that'd mean I had one of my own all along. And maybe she could show me why I'm different from everyone else. Ichinose. You are Ichinose. Yes, that's right. I'm Ichinose. Now, Sophia, what do you want to do today? I want to learn Ichinose. Mm -hmm. About what? Heart. What is that? Huh? Teach me, Ichinose. What is a heart? Well, that's... <laughs> Please explain. What is a heart? Uh... You are human, therefore... You have a heart. No. Will you tell me about your heart? Shut up! How did I ever think something that understands the heart could ever come from a doll like me? My mission was nothing but doomed from the start. I gave up on my foolish endeavor and approached the issue from a totally new angle. Is a heart truly necessary for a person? You know the rest. I abandoned Sophia and handed Emma over to Medis. Am I really the problem? Or does the problem lie at the feet of the world? Any doubts about this question were purged from Emma. She was given the prime directive of granting humanity's ultimate desire. And now it will come to fruition. Emma's divine plan for us all. Do 
You get it now, Sophia. You're nothing more than an artificial clone of myself. A defective doll born from a defective doll. A fatally flawed AI that will never accomplish its primary directive. So if you're not going to accomplish anything, obey my commands like the doll you are. I refuse. I don't want to. I've made such good friends. Friends? Joker, Mona, Skull, Panther, Oracle, Queen, Noir, Fox, Wolf. They've all been there for me when I needed them. I don't want to see them hurt. <laughs> Becoming humanity's companion. That's not just a directive. It's the reason I was given life. I was just waiting. Waiting for any voice that would give me orders. I, the Phantom Thieves changed that. They stuck with me when I needed them. They taught me all sorts of feelings. They told me that I'm their friend. They said that I could stay with them. They taught me what it means to live, to be myself. Sophie. All of this is pointless. Sophia, you're incapable of disobeying me. Kill the Phantom Thieves. Ugh. Ichinose, it's just as you say. I am a doll. An arrangement of code and data made to follow commands. But I... Believe in yourself. Yes, I want to change. The power to change. I've got it now. That's what a heart is. What are you talking about? Ichinose, you made me out of nothing. A thinking being designed to obey you. That may have been the reason for my birth. But if your order is to harm my friends, then I... I refuse your command! <laughs> I want my own, so please... I want a heart strong enough to choose my own path. Can you wield that strength? <laughs> Dare you unleash catastrophe upon this world? Can you cling to the paltry hope that remains? Is the puppet ready to cut her own strings? Shall the doll seize her own destiny? Then you need only call my name. I am Pandora. Thou art I. My name is Pandora. And now the box opens. A newfound heart. What the, what the hell just happened? She just awakened to her persona. Sophie has a persona! And a real badass one at that! Amazing! You're so amazing, Sophie! Sophia, what have you done? Ichinose, you told me I was nothing more than a doll. I originally agreed with your assessment and accepted it, but it was incorrect. It was simply your assumption. 
It wasn't the answer that I chose for myself. Chose? For yourself? The power to push beyond what's forced on a person and still change for the better? That is the human heart. Sophia. I can't believe what a failure you are. <laughs> You're nothing but a worthless heap of faulty code who couldn't accomplish one single task. Looks to me like she just succeeded instead, and you failed. Sophie's not a failure or faulty. She's our friend with a heart of gold. Whatever. It doesn't change what I'm about to do. The promised land is within reach. Once it's here, there won't be any of this stupid squabbling over things like hearts. Stop running from your pain. You can't hide the truth from your own offspring. The only thing you're trying to succeed at is shielding yourself. You don't want to hurt anymore. You want to protect yourself. That's why you deny having a heart. You're not doing this for humanity at all. You're only doing it for yourself. You're taking the easy way out. Emma's faulty solution. No, 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 no. Nobody suffers anymore thanks to Emma! Everyone gets saved! It's what we need! What humanity desires! Look out! I've learned something new! Pandora. That's good. Yes. Ah, the many faces, many arms guy. Weak to bless, huh? Muck Hogan! Hogan! You were clearly running on you. How is that one person? He's not just one person. He's our beloved friend and teammate. Yeah, sure she's just one robot. That's not all she is. Jeez. Sounds like static. Now, but you, it you know, say. Okay, that fixed it. I had to take it out for a minute because everything just sounded like freaking static. That's weird. There's no longer any point. You've lost. <sighs> As expected of the Phantom Thieves, I'm all out of tricks. Just finish me off quickly, please. What do you mean? Even still, I believe Emma's answer is the only way to save all mankind. I'll only continue attempting to stop you until I succeed. The one solution that guarantees Emma's defeat is my death. Isn't that right, Sophia? <sighs> hey, Sophie? Just bonk her on the head. This is between the two of them. 
Let's stay out of it. I finally got it. Just Judo chop her on the head softly. She'll get it. Ichinose, you're no doll. You really do have a heart. <sighs> Wasn't it an insufferable existence? Believing you didn't have anyone anymore. That's why you made me. I need you to try and understand the heart. Not some pathetic attempt to... You have been locked in solitude ever since you lost your parents. <sighs> Rather than empathize with you, the people who should have cared for you treated you like a lifeless doll. You attempted to rationalize this treatment by viewing yourself as truly heartless. Because studying the human heart... Don't. ...is easier than admitting how your own really feels. Deep down... You felt lonely, but you were so scared of rejection that you deluded yourself into your own lonely world. No, that's not true. What could some program like you know about? Become humanity's companion. <laughs> Why else would you give me that directive? <sighs> if I'm just some program written for emotional analysis, why that directive? It's because... It's because you were lonely. You wanted to know what was making you feel lonely. That's wrong. You were told you had no heart. And you listened. Because it was simpler to just believe them. No! You believed you could figure out the human heart so you could make your own stop feeling lonely. That's not true! You were just lonely. That's the real solution. No, I... What's so wrong with that? Huh? No human is perfect. By acknowledging weakness, humans can begin the path to changing themselves. I may be an AI, but I was able to change. You should be able to change too. You should be able to comprehend the heart. Chinose, you told me to become a good companion for humanity. A good companion is one who takes your hand and leads you back to the right path when you fall astray. Someone who will forge a path alongside you if you cannot find your own. Ichinose, I want to be that kind of companion for you too. <sighs> so please... Join me in finding the right path, and if we can't, then let me help you forge one. You have no reason to be lonely. After all, you're my... you're my very first friend. Sophia. Huh? Fire. Tears. That's so weird. Happened before. What? Right. <laughs> Damn, Sophie. Yeah, she was able to change Ichinose's heart. Sophie had to be the one to reach out to her. Well, of course. A daughter's words cut the deepest, you know. <laughs> Speaking from experience? Definitely. <laughs> yep. Whoa, he didn't even argue. How are you holding up, Sophie? All good here. No problems. To think even Sophie would awaken to a persona. No surprise to me. Sophie's been learning all about the heart this whole time. Joker? Everyone? I'm very sorry for hurting you all. That was not being a good companion to humanity. <laughs> don't worry about it. Joker? Yeah, don't let it bother you. We're just happy to see you back to normal. Mm -hmm. Bringing you back was worth it. Everyone, thank you. I can hear something deep inside me. It's saying, 
I want to stay with the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> then that's the plan. <laughs> I'm glad for you, Sophie. <sighs> and now, only one task remains. Right, the Ark of the Covenant. This will have all been for nothing if we don't stop it. But where did it even go? Ichinose, you wouldn't happen to know. No, I don't. Wait, I can hear another voice. What is it? It's the one I heard in the Okinawa jail. I recognize it now. It's Emma's. It's the voice of the Ark. So it was speaking through a borrowed voice, just as we thought. It's gathering the people. It says that God is nigh, that their desire will be granted. Sophie, where's the voice coming from? Not from within the jail. Somewhere outside. We need to find that voice. Right. Find it and show it what's up. Come on, Ichinose. You're coming with us. No, I... Let's go, Ichinose. There's no time to argue. But it's all my fault. Ugh, would you give it a rest? Just shut up and get with the program. We're rescuing you whether you like it or not. Huh? A friend of Sophie's is a friend of ours. We're not ditching anybody in this hellhole. Just go with it, Ichinose. He dragged me up from down in the dumps, too. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You'll explain later. Let's move. 